Oh, guys, let's talk about today's uh, the topic is the air uh, combustion lasting in the firefighting. So, basically, we'll start with the air, uh, the concept of air. So, let's see uh, what is the meaning of air and what composes the air. Uh, when I talk about the composition of air, first you have to know what is air. Actually, air is the mixture of different gases. Now, the gases that make up the air include the nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, uh, normal gases such as argon, helium, neon, krypton, and xenon. But uh, basically, uh, argon is uh, the one that is most visible and the uh, little water vapor. Now the air also may contain traces of impurities such as carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, and the other gases. These are due to the pollution. Now the following table shows the composition of air by volume. Uh, here you see the table displaces uh, the gas uh, and the appropriate percentage. A nitrogen basically it is seventy eight percent, oxygen twenty one percent. Our noble gases we are talking mainly about argon that is zero point nine four percent. Carbon dioxide is zero point zero three percent, and the water vapor is from zero to four percent. It varies from places and the at different times. Now, as you can see, ni nitrogen is the one that occupies uh, a large percentage in the air. Moving on, let's see what is combustion. Combustion is the, the rapid chemical combination of a sub, substance with oxygen involving the production of heat and light. Now that any substance that it burns, that is called a combustible material. So combustible materials are such as these coal, wood, kerosene, petrol, and the others. Now the air oxygen that is supposed to the combustion is what is called the support of combustion. This is the application of combustion in real life. The first one is that the combustion of natural gas is an important source of energy for homes and the industry. And the, since the natural gas is mainly made up of methane, now its complete combustion produces carbon dioxide and the water vapor. Now the substances like methane, which undergo combustion, Ready and give out a large amount of energy, such as the fuels that can be used. The second one is that uh, we combust fuels to heat homes and they keep ourselves warm, and they also cook our food and even burn waste. So, basically, combustion is used in uh, domestic lives. The third one is that the combustion of fuels in the automobile engines produces power or energy that is used to learn those the engines. The fourth one is that the combustion of fuel different burners produces heat and the light that is used for different purposes in the chemistry laboratory. For example, the, the burning burner is what it uses the application of combustion that is used for various chemical experiments in the laboratory. The fifth one is the, in the extraction of metals. Uh, when I talk about the extraction, it involves the process that is smelting, which is the process of extracting metal from its core by heating it. And the sixth one is that in the metallurgy industry, combustion is used during welding, whereby welding is the process of joining these metals by melting the parts and then using a fill at form a joint. So it can be used in different energy sources, including gas frame. So those are just of the few of the applications of this frame.